All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here tolling in his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, Jim S. Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. Uh, just it's a little uh, prophecy update. But uh, I'm going to uh, entitle this uh, particular lesson, This is the End. You know what I'm saying? Because we're there, man. You know what I'm saying? We're at the end uh, of, of, of this man's uh, uh, kingdom, his rulership, his setup, his society. Uh, and it's like very clear uh, uh, if, if, if you have any type of, a, of spirit about you. You'll know it. You can feel it. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? And if you know, of course, the prophecies tell us where we're at in these times, man. That's why that's why we're supposed to watch as well as pray. You know, how I told us to watch as well as pray. And uh, we're supposed to be watching the things that are going on in the earth and lining, lining, lining it up and filtering these things through the scriptures. So we know the times that we're in, man. You know what I'm saying? And and according to those things, the very prophecies that we that we uh, were given uh, uh Via our big brother Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through the spirit, we we know that we're close, man. We're, we're at the end, man. The the, the different uh, chariot sightings, you know what I'm saying? They're off the chain right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the brothers here, uh, 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 the brother Sha'ar, just last night uh, posted a beautiful chariot video, man, you know. And and the chariots are showing out, man. You know what I'm saying? That I, I was looking at, at at a few earlier. You know, the brother out there in a, 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 a L.A. You know, uh, he posts a, a, a videos, a, a chariot videos daily. You know what I'm saying? So so the uh, hey man, the chariots are acting up, man. They they, they showing out. You know, and, and right now, just just earlier today, you know, Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, WhatsApp, all these uh, uh, government social media sites. That is set up to uh to to keep an eye on Jake, you know, and keep an eye and watch, you know, see what people are doing, you know, uh, went down for a period of time today, you know, all pre uh, precursors and preludes, uh, uh, to to what's coming, man, you know what I'm saying? Cause they're gonna shut all this madness, that they're gonna shut everything down soon, you know, uh, blackouts are coming, you know what I'm saying? And 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 that and uh, uh what's his name, Dabu Seven reports on these things uh, all the time. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, feature something, uh, uh, that he put up. I just saw earlier today as well. Uh, just going into this lesson that I'm that I'm going into, you know, this being the end, man, you know, and you got all these things happening, man. You know, you got those sh uh, ships out there and, 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 and that and uh, I don't I can't remember exactly where it is. I had it and I and I think I deleted it. Uh, the uh, I think it was on a TikTok, a TikTok video uh, showing the all these ships that were like just sitting out in the water, man, not moving. You know what I'm saying? They're they're, they're holding up these ships, you know, these trucks. Are, are, are soon gonna stop, man. You know, which is what the, the I'm gonna feature in the uh, the little Dabu Seven uh, uh, set that I'm gonna show. Uh, you know, all of these things. You know, you got you got the uh, uprisings and uproars of the people going on. You know, over there in uh, I believe it's in uh, France right now. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna feature that as well. But all of these things signify the end, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the end. As a matter of fact, that reminds me. Uh, really quick of uh, Matthew the 24th chapter so let me get that real quick it's Matthew chapter 24 and uh, I'm going to start at verse 3 it's Matthew 24 and 3 and it reads and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world so the disciples were going to uh, went to Yahweh Shai and was asking him basically how will we know when it's time for you to return what things are we to look out for how will we know and it says the end of the world which that's not the end of the actual globe the the the, the earth you know because when you read in ecclesiastes the first chapter in verse four it tells you there's uh, uh the earth abides forever man you know what i'm saying so that word world is i own when you go into uh uh that word in the greek it's i own which means a a, a time period an age, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm going to continue reading. I think I'm going to read down to verse eight just to, you know, get to the point of, of, of the things that are going on in the earth, how they would know. Verse four, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. 
For many shall come in my name saying I am Hamashiach and shall deceive many. And you got that happening right now with a lot of these uh, 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 these uh, uh, groups, man. These Israelite groups that's claiming to be Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're out here deceiving uh, uh, the majority of, of, of our people, man. You know, telling them to take the, the, the juicy juice, that damn jungle juice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, telling them to take the chip. You got groups out here telling them to take the chip. You got group out, groups out here telling them we don't know the names. Uh, of, of Come on, man. It's, it's a lot of deception going on, man. So we're in these times, man. These things are happening as we speak. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. You know, and these things are happening. Wars and rumors of wars are, have been happening, man. But right now, uh, 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 you know, everything on a daily basis, uh, uh, World War III is 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 increasing, you know, those those tensions, you know what I'm saying, which is that ultimate uh, uh, final battle, that final war, the War of Armageddon. That's going to uh, uh, basically destroy this man's kingdom, man. You know, along with the chariots when they return. Our big brother, Yahusha and the angels. Uh, but it's not. We still have a couple of, of, of uh, 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 prophecies that have to come to pass, man. You know, two major prophecies. Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, Salaki. Uh, uh, two, two major uh, uh, prophecies that are still uh, uh, has to come to pass. But it says, verse 7. Uh, so the end is not yet. So verse seven, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places in different places. And the earthquakes are happening like all the time and every other day at, at, at times, man. You know, the pestilences are here, those diseases and, and, and different pestilences. You know, you got these different uh, C-19 and, and variants. You know, and other things are going to come, man, because once once the Lord start dropping a hammer and, and, and more people start starts to uh, dying out here in these streets, man, you know, people aren't going to be having funerals and being buried, man. You know, so these things are going to lead to diseases when, you know, because when a person dies, they uh, uh, the bowels uh, uh, loose, man, you know, so you're going to have all this stench in the air. And, and of course, the flies and the gnats and the mosquitoes and different things, you know, and, and it's, it's going to breed disease and then they're going to carry it's just it's going to get crazy, man. You know, we're coming into that time of Daniel, the 12th chapter, a time unlike any other since there was a nation, man. We're coming into that time and you can clearly see these things building up right now in Austin, Texas. Uh, uh, there is a, uh, uh, a, a, a decree just went out just I believe it was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, maybe the day before. But recently, you know, that the, the police, because of, of the defunding, are not going to be answering really any calls other than murder if you're getting put to death you can call us anything other than that don't call us we're not responding you know so the def the the the, uh, the funding of the of the police and, and of course they've passed this gun law you know that you can open carry you can just carry you know what i'm saying the wild wild west is building up it's getting it's, it's about to get very very ugly out here in these streets man because once the the these people get hungry because just like i said those the the, the ships are are just sitting out there the trucks are stopping you know and people are going to get hungry and that's when you know the babies crying and 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 people getting hungry hey the beast is going to come out man so so and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places man you know all these things are building up as we speak man and verse 8 all these are the beginning of sorrows man so these are are the beginnings of sorrows which is leading to as the, the, the title says, th this is the this is it. This is the end, man. You know, so first Peter four and verse seven reads, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye there sober and watch unto prayer. So the end of all things, the end of all things in this current rulership set up kingdom society under these devils, uh, uh, the so-called self-proclaimed white man. Which is the wicked of the Bible, man. Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. You know, and that, that's to uh, to fulfill uh, the, the blessing of Genesis, the 27th chapter, when their forefather Esau uh, uh, cried, man. You know, what about me, father? Bless me, even me, oh, my father. You know, hast thou one blessing for me? He cried, man. You know what I'm saying? So the, so, uh, uh, the Lord blessed him because we know Isaac in an incarnation is Yahawashai. You know what I'm saying? Matthew 1 and 1, the generation of Jesus Christ, Yahawashai Mashiach, the son of David, 
son of Abraham. Then it goes into those three 14 generation periods that uh, he would come into the earth. He came into the earth as Isaac, as King Solomon, and as Jehoshaphat. You know what I'm saying? In in Matthew, the first chapter alone. So, so uh, you know, we understand that. So those blessings were given. And as a matter of fact, when you read in he Hebrews, the 11th chapter in verse 20, it says, and Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come, man. You know, so there were two blessings given. And when you read in second Edris, the uh, uh, sixth chapter in verse nine, it says Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that end of the world we just read uh, 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 in uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter is that very end Esau's world. I own. So it says right here in first Peter four and seven, but the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things in this current system, society, world, I own set up. You know, this age, this time period is at its end, man. And all these things that were aforementioned uh, uh, are all proofs of that end, man. That very end, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, be therefore sober and watch into prayer, man. You know, so you got to be aware of what's going on, man, which two thirds of the nation of Israel are not. You know, that's why they're prophesied to be put to death pursuing the Zechariah 13 chapter in verse eight, man. You know what I'm saying? But us in the know, the elect, the hopeful elect, and one third, they're sober, man, and they're watching unto prayer, man. So continue to keep those prayers going up, man, you know, and continue to watch. So I'm going to really, really quick, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to bring out one more. Then we're going to get the video real quick. Uh, let me get Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3, and it reads, For the vision is yet... For an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the end is speaking, man. These visions are set for an appointed time, and we're in the appointed time, and these visions are speaking, man. The visions were are, are, are representative of the prophecies, man, you know, which uh Yahweh Shai is 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 all about prophecy. As a matter of fact, man, that's boy, the spirit is moving. <laughs> Hey, we're going to go through the spirit with the spirit, man. This is Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. And it reads, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. So it's the, the spirit of prophecy, Salakia. So it's all about the prophecies. As a matter of fact, when you read in, in uh in the Apocrypha in uh Sirach, the 39th chapter, let's get that real quick. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 39 and 1. It reads, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high. And is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecy. So you have to be occupied in prophecy. It's all about prophecy. As a matter of fact, there's another one in Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. And verse one, the second Ezra chapter 15 and verse one, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. Which the people of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are the Israelites, which consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You make up the 12 no longer lost tribes of the nation of Israel. We know who we are now, man. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent, the words of prophecy, which we just read. You got to be occupied in prophecy. And prior to that one, we read that Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So it's all about prophecy. The words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's what we're speaking, man. The words of prophecy are in the mouths of the prophets, man. The the men of the Lord, those that that that, that uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are is is a uh, dealing dealing with. You know, if they're not speaking prophecy, the Lord ain't dealing with them, man. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, bottom line, period. We're reading it right here in the scriptures, man. You know, so and the scriptures speak for itself. Speak, speak for themselves. So I'm going to go back and read Habakkuk one more time before we get uh, the videos and then one last scripture. Uh, let's go back to Habakkuk real quick. Habakkuk chapter 2 
And we're going to read verse 3 again. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And we're at the end in, this, in the visions. These prophecies are speaking loud and clear and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Though it seem like it's a, a long time, just, just be patient because they're going to come. And they're going to come quickly. You know, they'll be upon you before you know it, man. You know what I'm saying? So now I want to uh, go ahead and jump over to the uh, uh, these. Uh, I got a couple of videos, which I'm not going to play the first one. I'm just going to kind of feature it. And uh, and uh, because all these things signify the end of this of this man's uh, 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 the end of this man's uh, uh, kingdom. So right here, as you can see, this is Dabu seven. And it, and, and, and it says uh, uh, it's got a, a, a truck there and it says global supply chain crisis to last until 2023. DHL joins rivals in raising shipping rates. You know what I'm saying? So and, and the one right below it, it says this is chaos. China power crunch trucker shortages will force food prices even higher. So these all of these things are, are going to lead into a. Uh, uh, the coming famine, man, along with those ships, you know, that are that are not moving. The trucks are going to are going to stop. You know, what I'm saying it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring those famines in, man, which is, you know, we can I could go into a lesson on, on that alone. So I'm just going to feature that just part as part of this is the end, man. We're at the end and you can clearly see it, man. So I'm going to go uh, really quick. Oh, man, this is crazy. It's not pulling up the stuff that I'm trying to pull up. This is uh right here. Uh. I'm gonna play this uh, this top video really quick because these things are happening right now. So, again, you know, all these things signify the end. So I'm going to read 1 Peter 4 and 7 one more time. If, if my screen ever comes up. All these things uh, uh, signify the end of this devil's kingdom, man. It's 1 Peter 4 and 7, one more time. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch into prayer because all these things are, are prophecy and all these things are happening, man. So I'm going to bring out one more real quick in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, and then I'm going to bring this lesson to a close. 2nd uh, Ezra 9, and I'm going to just start at the top at verse 1 and, and read a few verses down. 2nd uh, Ezra 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then that then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So he says, uh, uh, measure the time diligently, man. And how do you how do you do that, man? By way of the prophecies, man. You know, you're going to look at uh, uh, what's going on in the earth and you're going to filter them through the prophecies of the scriptures, man, which is the ultimate ultimate uh, uh, measuring tool. You know what I'm saying? And when you see these things, you're going to know that these things were spoken. You know, it says, uh. And you and you're going to know it's time for the that the Lord is visiting, man. Uh, verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which is hey, you, earthquakes all the time, man. And you, you're starting to see you've been seeing these these uproars, man. You know, 
the yellow vest, the, the, the France, all these different places that's up, uh, uh, been uproaring, man. You know, and you that that one that we just saw over these these uh, passports, man. You know, that's C-19, man. Uh, it says, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, because these prophecies are written, man. They're, they're, these things were written thousands of years before before now, man. <laughs> you know, and they're happening, you know. So uh, uh, verse five, for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end and the end is manifest. So this is the end, man. You know, the end is manifest because we're seeing it. We're seeing all of these things by way of the prophecies that are happening in the earth, man, which we were told to watch for, you know, watch as well as pray, watch into prayer, man. You know what I'm saying? But the end of all three things is at hand, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's very clear and very evident to see, you know, the, the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, the Most High, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai are moving in the earth. Yahweh Shai is doing his thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's delivering as he as he said he would, man, because he's a man of his word and he's bound uh, uh, by his word, man, and to his word. You know what I'm saying? So these things are happening, man. Hey, we're, some, we're in some beautiful times. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get ugly. You know, it's going to get scary. But hey, keep the faith, man. Hang in there. Keep your head up. Keep pushing. Stay rooted and booted. And uh, hey, man, let's keep watching, keep praying, keep, keep, keep pushing, keep building, you know, keep doing the things we're supposed to do as the men of the Lord, man, you know, and uh, hey, man, we're about to get out of here. So just wanted to bring that uh, uh, real quick. Hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect, which I hope to be a part of. I brought to Shah, giving all praises, honor and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadad, Shalom.